I started blow drying my hair and it wouldn't dry because I forgot to rinse out the conditioner. I made this tiny little apron. I should be able to see that cone. Okay. We're firing to cone one and the cone is still standing upright. Pyrometric cones. And they look like this. And what they measure is both a time and temperature, a total something that it takes to melt this over into a, like a, um, if it puddles, then it's over, then, then it's past the cone temperature. But if it, if it doesn't melt at all, then it's not up to the right cone temperature. And that's how you know that your pottery is fired to the correct cone. This camera's amazing. I mean, there's no light. The only light is coming in from under the garage door. Pretty funny. Oh, Mr. S is home. Gotta go. 1988. Let's see if I can spot it. There's the cone. I'm putting on these welding, welding goggles. Okay, and I'm gonna look in that hole because it's supposed to be safer. The cone is still standing up, right? I lost a little heat from opening up the peephole. We did it. It's holding at 2045. I think the cone is gone. Good morning, you guys. I just woke up, so. So I took it from greenware to, um, what is this called now? Now it's bis. How we know that the temperature was perfect, the cone, bent over perfectly it didn't puddle and it didn't um it didn't stay standing straight up so that is this is a pretty much i'm going to call this a perfect cone one firing so that's cool so i'm going to leave that in there for now i'm going to grab my stuff and i got to go get the chickens out that's so cool all right so next next stage i need to find some glaze and fire and paint it and fire it again. So I got my overalls on. I just throw those on first thing in the morning so I can um, go get the chickens out. It's coming apart. This is the raccoon proof latch. We've never lost a chicken. Knock on wood. Good morning, everybody. Ladies. Whoa, what was that? Can't tell these two apart. You know what's so cool about this new camera is that I can actually see if what I'm doing is on screen. It's cold outside, but this guy wants to play. Stop it, your breath smells. Pew! Okay. Now I just gotta do my finish work and it'll be all done. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy who wants to play outside? The brushed background finish is quite literally brushed on with the brush tool attachment. Watch. This is your favorite part where it sounds like a dentist drill. Okay, some of the metal bristles come flying out and um, whack me in the face. So I should have my bandana on. when I'm done, I can go rob a bank. So I just gotta polish it up. Then it's done. I am forever dropping things on the floor. Always the floor. Have you ever seen a nutmeg before? A nutmeg nut. There we go. What was that? Ding! That's the sound my phone makes when one of you makes a comment. That smells fresh. This yogurt looked too thin last night, um, but I guess while it was cooling down, it decided to finally thicken up the...
That is so cool! This is not gonna fly. You need to get off here. See these two tubs? Full of glazes. She had all this stuff from her other kiln that she just gave to me because I guess she just doesn't do it anymore. And it's awesome. I'm so excited. I mean, what a deal to, I was able to make jewelry and trade it and get this kiln and all this stuff with it, including the pyrometric cones completely br brank. <laughs> My brain went brank. This is called green thumb. I know someone with a green thumb. Orange, orange you happy. <laughs> That's a great name. There we go. There's a little spot I don't like. It's gonna be a lot more work, I guess. That's so cool. Some of these metal bliss bristles. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Some of these metal bristles. Some of these metal. <laughs> I'm a child. 